Welcome to part 6 of this video guide on how to set up your user authentication. In the previous video, we learned how to create a table that's going to store all of the user credentials. We also learned how to create a view that filters out all of your active users. Now let's go to the Authentications object to create the login screen. We'll click on New to set up a new authentication. Next, let's select the view as your data source. Remember, the view filters all of your active users, so anyone inside this view will be able to log into the application. You can use Express Login if you need to create a quick login screen, but let's select Custom so that we can select additional customization options. If you wish to use the view as your data source for user validation, you can leave the top radio button selected. If you want users to log in with their social media accounts, you can choose the second radio button. If you want them to use their credentials from both the view and social media, you can select the third radio button option. And finally, if you already have your user information stored with an identity provider or IDP, such as Microsoft Active Directory or Okta, you can connect your Caspio applications to those IDPs for a seamless login experience. I'll choose Recommended. You can expand the advanced settings for additional customization options, but for now, I'll go ahead and click on Create. Give the authentication a name, such as CM User Login. Now that you have the authentication created, you can go back to your data pages and apply it to all of your forms and reports. Let's click on Edit. Click Next a few times. Once you reach the Access and Security section, you can enable it and then very simply select the authentication from the drop-down menu. Once you save your changes, you will now be able to preview the data page. The expected behavior is that you should now be able to see the login interface first, and only the people that are active inside the view will be able to log in and view that data page. Let's go back to Caspio and very quickly edit our report data page as well. Click Next a few times, and once again enable Access and Security and apply the same authentication as before. When done, go ahead and click on Finish to save your changes. Both the submission form and the report should now be password protected. Join me in the final video of this guide to see how we complete this application by deploying it to the web. I'll see you there.